<laughs> good stuff. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Max. Uh, now let's move on to uh, some of the other stories that have happened over the weekend. One of the worst late tackles in recent years. Reno Peterson on Bordeaux Scrum Half. Maxime Luku in the top 14 at the, re- at the weekend. <laughs> Uh, let's start with you, Ryan. Where does that one rank for you? Right, people. I'm going to get some. Yeah, I'm with you, Brian. Yeah, I'm I know with what you're going to say. I know what you're going to yeah, say. Yeah, I'm actually I, with you. I genuinely don't think it was that bad. It looks bad, right? Hold it on. It looks like it's out of water, boy. Yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> it's it's how far he jumped from where he jumped to where he contacted him. But there was no need for the jump. But if he had just carried on running and hit him where he hit him yeah i think it's a probably a late shot but it wouldn't be that bad it's the jump that's made it look horrific yeah. it doesn't hit him <laughs> so, i don't know we could be we could get in trouble here but i don't think it's that bad Are you boys in a grits yeah i'm sort of with you i think like if you looked at it strictly on the like the laws he sort of hits him at a safe height but it's the theatricality of the jump. It just looks outrageous. It looks like it's straight out of um, straight out of Waterboy. He's Adam Sandler, just with the insane of just horizontal across the field. And you're just like, oh no. He's a little oh. man, and that is a big old bit of biltong just flying through the air. Yeah. He aims it. It's, it's because they're both in the air as well. He's kicked yeah. it, he's off the he's, he's in the air, so he's off the yeah. ground. And he hits him in a pretty like you said, it's not a bad position, but he's already in the air as well. So it's not that they can it's do. It's just yeah. the worst, yeah. <laughs> and it's physics, isn't it? Physics. Isn't it? Simple <laughs> physics. So, yeah, like, <laughs> listen, if he hadn't jumped, it wouldn't have looked as bad. It might be a yellow card because it was a late shot. But, yeah, I've seen worse, but it looked <laughs> horrific. <laughs> Oh, well, we we're going to get told off for laughing about yeah. it now. People are like, you shouldn't laugh about that. It's not oh. funny. Yeah, you're trivialising the safety of the game. I'm like, well... <laughs> yeah. How long, Jack, Jack, do you agree the Ford's union's all talking there? Like, oh, not that bad. The, the camera's made it look bad. Do you actually agree with that? No, it, like, it, yeah, it is bad, isn't it? But like you said, bad, I've, you've, seen a, you've seen a lot worse. Um, but again, it's because it's not helped. They're both in the air. He, he has jumped from about 10 metres away. It uh, doesn't seem to hit the floor before he hits him. Um, and obviously the scrum half's in the air as well. So it's going to look, it's going to look, bla- it does look bloody awful, but... <laughs> Again, I might get in trouble, but it's quite funny to watch at the same time. It, it, it almost looks superimposed, doesn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the nine the nine did a full flip and landed on his feet again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he wouldn't get banned then. He didn't land on his head, so that's all right. Yeah, exactly. So it would have been all right. But yeah, I don't know. We're, we're going to get told off for this. But anyway, move on. Have you, you got any horror tackles that you've witnessed firsthand, Ryan, that, that spring to mind? Something like that. That won't be talked about for, for a while now, but one that really comes straight to your mind. Um, off the top of my head? No, I haven't, actually. I, I, most of them I see, I go, I'll just let it go. You know, let it play on, play on. <laughs> oh, a good um, one in training. Oh, yeah? We, we, we had a good one in training. Do you remember a player we had at the club? He was an Aussie fellow who spent a bit of time in where he was called Ben White. It's back row. Yeah, yeah. He, um, we were training and it did look bad. It looked bad on camera, but I think someone came in from the side. <laughs> someone came in from the side and someone tackled him above and he got bent over sideways. Um, and it, we shouldn't laugh because at the time it was obviously pretty bad. Well, we thought it was pretty bad. Um, and he's giving it the old one, a line on the floor, and, and, and Rob Baxter's literally just stood there watching the drill as well. <laughs> and he's on his back, he's holding his knee. He's looking off at Rob. He's, he's almost crying on the floor, shouting, Rob, Rob, it's fucked, mate. It's fucked. Oh, no. <laughs> and, he's, and he's rolling around. He's panicking. And everyone's like, oh, no, his leg snapped or something. <laughs> anyway, that panic's kind of wore off a little bit. And he ends up getting up, walking into the changing room, and there's nothing wrong with him in the end. And it's just... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That'll do that you in. Yeah, <laughs> the whole session had stopped, and he was calling out the coach, saying it was fucked. So <laughs> that was, I think we Full all Lazarus. <laughs> Oh man, the worst one I've seen was Chris Halafia, Bubba Yeager. Like he's the guy you call to kill John Wick, like Tom and Warlord of the highest, highest level. Like he ended people. He was shaving years off guys' careers if they ran it. Anyway, we were playing Gloucester. It was my first start at Tired. I got absolutely rinsed by Nick Wood. It was terrible. Young, young Max got absolutely pwned. But anyway, we're in a kick chase. Ollie Morgan catches this ball. He kicks it like literally so early and then Chris Alaphir just lurches out of nowhere this is like a good 
two, three seconds after he's kicked it and has just <laughs> mauled him. Like, it's like arm, um, shoulder, everything's open. Like, he'd have been banned for life nowadays in the climate we're in. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> Straight red. But, oh, my God, it was horrible. I felt so bad for that poor, poor Caucasian Morgan just getting ended. By the yeah, he was just it's the, uh, it's the late ones. The late ones always look worse, don't they? Especially like after someone's kicked the ball or just passed in it. It's when they're not looking. Yeah, and it's they're like, like slightly oh, like just chilled out. Yeah. The body's like flaccid. They're not ready for it. And then neck yeah. minute. Oh god. The, the, they fold around whoever's <laughs> like completely. Fold yeah, that up. that um, Ben Foden one from Henry to Oh. oh. Yeah. One of the greats. One of the greats. Mark, would you would you have said that was would you when you saw that 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 one we just spoke about where they've kicked the ball and he's absolutely melted him? Were you like that's a disgrace? What's really weird is I was watching the game and and in normal at normal speed it looked just it looked like a late tackle and you went you winced right you winced for 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 the for the nine, but then yeah. when it's in slow mo it's exactly what you said it's, it's worse, a weird. Yeah. It's a Superman jump into him. Yeah. And then also, if you notice in slow-mo, he then smashes his head against him as well. And when he and and then, but what, what I quite enjoyed was the, the referee also being like, everyone, no need for handbags. It's, it's a straight red. That first thing he said from about 20 meters down down the pitch. Oh, so yeah. it was uh, it, did he head headbutt him? No, but he sort of landed onto his body. But again, it looked it just the oh, whole I thing. The, the side angle just looks just just it's, looks it's dreadful. Brilliant. I think the reason it looks so wrong is because he kind of he jumps <laughs> <up> vertically. <laughs> he comes oh. up and it just goes. Oh, right. Yeah, like full <laughs> emperor penguin. Just do it. Up. <laughs> oh, uh, great true. compassion for the nine guys there. Right, let's move on to uh, a big match at the weekend. Australia beating South Africa again and outscoring the world champions four tries to one in a 30-17 win. Uh, do we think their unique game plan and style of play was a bit exposed by the Aussies, Ryan? Yeah, I think so. They played them off the park, didn't they? They had a good scrum, good set piece. Australia, you know, after that first win the week before... Um, I think I saw a few comments from some of the players and coaches and it was like, this one means nothing unless we back it up. And they went and did that. Like, yeah, they're looking bloody good, aren't they? They're looking bloody good. South Africa weren't great. Um, but old Quade Cooper, mate, what a story. Actually, bringing the old band back together, James O'Connor could even be lining up with Quade Cooper for the first time uh, in 10 years. Max, you played alongside O'Connor who we know loves a night out. Any good stories? Did not play, I did not actually play with Jimmy O'Connor. I missed him by a season, but... Oh, we producer's could, fired. Pretend. Yeah, I've no, got no, everyone's I've gone. Got, I've got no specific um, stories, unfortunately, but since it's like, he's sort of had like, I believe he's had sort of a spiritual revolution of sorts since his, um, since his heydays of the CD Melbourne life. Um, but he was part of this thing called the Rat Pack. I think I've talked about it before on here, but we'll do it again for Jackie Boy. But um, it was like, um, <laughs> it was him, Danny Cipriani and Buddy Franklin. I think Curly Beal was involved as well. And they were the called Rat the Rat Pack. Pack. And they basically just ruled the nightlife of Melbourne and got into all sorts of badness. Um, but yeah, I think um, he's a much different guy now. Very grounded, quite, quite, um, quite spiritual, I believe. Like the consummate pro. 